How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Weeb Lounge. I'm Nick and in this Blue Archive character spotlight we're taking a look at Utaha. She's basically an indoor computer geek nerd engineer with a wrench and a lot of drones that shoot stuff. I'm really kind of running low on things to open up videos with. It's I, I, I need to get more creative or start using scripts or something because that one was pretty bad. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the details of Utaha here. Character type, she is special. She's sitting in the background. She's not on the field fighting for you. Roll in position, basically turret firepower support. Because most of the stuff she puts down are these little drones slash turrets and everything. And that's how she fights. She, that's how she helps you out. In terms of environment, the outdoors she really hates, but urban environments and indoors she really likes. So, yeah, it kind of goes with the whole engineer thing, you know, you go outdoors, nah, then no thanks. Outdoors evil, sun's trying to kill me, it's fine. I got a shirt that says that, to be honest. Attack type and defense type, both yellow. Attack type, explosive, defense type, heavy armor. So, all, there's an awful lot of, like, yellow elements, as I call it, characters in this game. It seems like more than any other one, especially, like, the blue ones, the special, mythical, whatever the heck. All right, let's go ahead and get into the skills. Her normal skill, Raichan MK2 Drive. It summons a tiny little turret every 30 seconds that constantly attacks the enemy with 38.2% of Utah's attack power. Lasts for 20 seconds or until it gets blown up or something. And it's just like you barely even notice it on the field sometimes. It's just little, little things. Just like, pew, pew, pew. That's all it does. It's a real, real tiny little turret. But it can do a little bit of damage. Passive skill. Technological revolution. Increases attack power by 14%. That is a misleading title. I'm expecting some crazy skill or whatever. But no, nah, it's just attack power up. <sighs> I get disappointed easy. Whatever. All right. Now her sub skill. Meista... Oath. Meister's Oath. I... Meister? Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's it. Okay. I don't know. I don't understand it at all. It increases all allies' hit points by 9.1%. Mine's up to 9.5. So that's kind of, sort of useful, but is it really? I'm not sure about this anymore. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of a goofy thing. EX skill, Raichan Deploy, the cost of four. It summons a turret that has 81%, 81.4% of her attack power, lasts for 30 seconds until destroyed, and it can draw the attention of enemies. You get to put it wherever, pretty much wherever you want on the field. I mean, it's just like unlimited. You put it way over in the corner, wherever the heck you want. And it's not a taunt, keep that in mind. It's a turret you put down, and it will draw enemies' attention if that enemy is closest to that turret compared to any other character. So it's not a taunt, it's simply like adding another character to the field, and if it happens to be closer than anything else, the enemies will target it. So you can use it kind of like a taunt, but positioning is very relative. Alright, let's go ahead and get in on 1-1 one, one here and see what we can do. I'm going to do those hard modes again. Let's see, you can go to the thing, hit the area, you got that event going on. Man, that event is, I've got, I've had a lot of stuff to do here recently. In this game, another game, Total War is going on right now. My God, I am overloaded. All right, now she's from a previous video. We're going to take her out and just for the heck of it, I'm going to put old Railgun, uh, Railgun, Minigun Girl in here. We need to take her out and put Utaha in. Got her at level 53. Let's go ahead and do what we do. She, she likes that gun. She just sits there petting the gun. That's that's what she does. They're caressing that minigun. I mean, it, I guess. I mean, it, it's the boss of you. <laughs> All right, Utaha, like... I got her really early on, and, I, and I'm sitting here thinking because of the turret, it's like, oh, okay, she can be, like, really, really damn useful. Like, really, really useful. And she was. Okay, like she's not like bottom tier rank or anything. She doesn't do that much damage, but the turret is what really draws attention. Now, let's go ahead and put a turret back here and slow this down. All right, summed it back here, and you see this one and this one even over here turned around and faced it because I basically used it as a taunt. I drew the enemy's attention from it. 
And that's what it does. And it'll just sit there shooting whatever's closest. Closest mob is what it shoots. And if it happens to be the closest mob to the enemy, the enemies will shoot it. So it's actually really useful. Like I end up using that in the Total War. There were some instances where I wanted to get more DPS, but I didn't really have... I didn't want to use a tank, right? Using a tank reduced reduced my DPS, and I was like, okay, well, I want to get more DPS, but I need a tank. I need a distraction or something to absorb some damage, and that's where the turret came into play. It helped out in a couple of my total wars before I could actually, you know, really get anything going. Now, look, the, the field that you can put this thing on is huge, so let's just put it all the way at the tail end over here, and this is going to blast these things away. It, it speeds, it'll speed this up. It stays there, just blast away, blast away. It does have to have a re reload motion, too. I mean, look at that. She's, she's, the Nolby here is, or whatever, she, she's barely got enough time to do nothing. And see, there's that little mini turret. It's way back there. Okay, let's go ahead and put out another one. I'll just put it right dead in the center. Put it in the center, it'll draw attention, but these things are going to die that much quicker. So, I'm just, okay, well, didn't really have to worry about that. All right, hop, skip, and jump on up here. I'm going to take this, put it right in front of everything. It will draw everything else's fire while it just starts mowing things down. Now, you can't have two out. So you got one out here. I'm going to put a fresh one out. The previous one will destroy. So you can't have more than one, in case you were wondering. Now the boss is just going to sit there, ride away you know, relatively slow. The, the turret itself doesn't do much damage. Over time... It actually, it's not bad over time, but yeah, it's, it, you don't put it in there for the DPS. You put it in there for the positioning, the distraction, the quote unquote taunt. That's where you, what you put it in. For. And that's really one of the only reasons to use this character. If you're trying to increase your DPS, this is not the way to do it. If you're trying to increase your survivability while limiting your DPS loss, this is a viable option. It works. It helped keep uh, some of my uh, characters alive when I was trying to progress through a few little chapters and everything. And even in a couple of the Total Wars, when I needed the boss distracted, I would put that thing right up front. It would take the damage. It would let my, me get my heals up for my characters or just delay enough damage to get through it. So overall, not a bad character. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. And the, the thing with this character is, is I... She has her use in those regards, but if you, you happen to have like all these other good characters, you don't really need to put any attention toward her. She She's not king in any kind of fight. She doesn't work well in PvP. She's just th there to kind of fill a gap when you need that gap filled or you need to tweak the party just a tad little bit. You can often go to her and that little tweak will let you get through it. Maybe not the most efficiently if you had other characters uh, ready and available, but it can work. So... I guess the overall gist of this character is, eh, she can work. We'll see you in the next video.